Hi guys, Brian from Maniki Models again. Uh, a big thank you to everyone so far who's backed us. I can't believe how quickly you've nearly doubled our initial funding goal. Uh, and also a huge thank you especially to those that have been advertising for us elsewhere on forums and stuff. Uh, it means a great deal that you can do that for us. Anyway, uh, we've unlocked some freebies. So here we have, um, for the um, getting to 3000, we have our Anarchy A. We can't have a campaign without having that in there. A very useful stencil. Um, not only is it our logo, but I'm sure some of you may have seen it been sprayed on walls or um, in films or whatever. Uh, the Anki symbol has been used by graffiti artists for years and uh, it's a good thing to have on your sci-fi or modern terrain. And uh, for 3500 we have the vent here. Um, good for using on your MDF terrain. Some of it might have some nice flat areas that looks a bit boring. Uh, you can add a, a vent here into the roof or into the sides of the walls uh, or you could even use it as a grate in the paving whatever you want to do with it um, and uh, a similar thing here um, for 4000 unlock we have a round vent it's also got some little rivets around it um, and we're going to do a quick video now just to quickly show you how to use all three of these so to start with Let's show you a quick tip for masking things off. Um, if you don't mask things off, you'll get an overspray around the stencil. So I'll just quickly show you that. So there's a couple I was using earlier. So if we were to just spray this without masking off the model, so pretend this cardboard's the model. I'm going to spray the vent in. drying it with the air now. So as we can see we've got a faint outline of paint around our stencil which is not what we want. So part of the reason I was doing this is we can use this cardboard to create a shield for when we're painting. So if I cut around this grid that out. We then have a shield that's the right size to let us to paint just where the stencil is. You could have just guessed it but it's a lot easier just to stick it on, spray it, you then know where you need to cut it. So I'm just going to use this piece of plastic card rather than model as it's what I've got handy right now. So let's wait for that to focus in again. I'm going to zoom in a little bit for this one. There we go. So we choose where I want the stencil to go. You could tape this to the model to stop it moving about, um, which is sometimes useful, or you could just try hard not to move it. If you move it mid painting, uh, it's really going to be a bit tricky to put it back. And if you don't notice you've moved it, you're going to get like a ghosted image. So always try really hard not to move the stencil. So if possible, it's a good idea just to quickly tape it, at least on one side to the model. So I'm going to use our shield there. Uh, and a few light passes of paint, rather than one heavy thick one. But you do want to get a really nice strong black with this as this is meant to represent a hole inside of the floor or the model or whatever um, so it does want to be a really good strong black let's dry it with the air quickly so there we have our little vent now some of you might have been wondering what this little tail here is for I'm going to show you that now if uh, imagine this is on the side of a wall um, or something like that, we might want to show some some dirt coming out of the vent. So, here's a little shield, cover up the vent as neatly as we can, and then just just aiming at the middle here. There's no need to spray all the way around, or you'll get a ghosted image right the way around the corner. We're just going to aim in the middle where that paint already is. So. Let's 
very lightly, you don't need to do too much here. I'm mainly aiming actually on the stencil, not off it. So it's just the overspray is coming off. I'm just going to do a quick streak. Some dirt or something leaking out of the vent. There we go. Now, because of the way the stencil works, you have to have these little notches in it or the grid would fall out of the stencil. You could cover those in with a paintbrush, um, but I tend to just use one of these, which is a very fine point Sharpie marker. This is a permanent marker rather than a normal writing pen. Uh, and then just carefully mark the lines in. There you go. So then you can just do all the other corners uh, and it's finished. And the other stencil, the other grid stencil works just the same. So we'll quickly do that now. You can use the same shield because it's the right size. Again, don't just blast the paint on really heavy and make it run like that. You're just going to want to lightly, lightly uh, dust it on there. But you do want a nice strong coat of black. Move the stencil. So we go. You can even see the little rivets around the uh, vent there. And the same again. If you want to do like a dirt run off the side, um, you just use the little shield here. Place that over the vent. And again, aiming just at the middle here. Don't spray right the way around it. There you go. So the other stencil is the Anarchy A, which you can already see, I've done a quick test here. So we'll do another one of those. Another way you could do it, uh, mask off the other area, is you could make a little bucket of tape like this. This will catch the overspray and not send it around the, uh, the rest of the area, which is not what we need. So there's two ways you can use this one. You can use it pressed directly onto the page so it's a very snug fit onto the page there. So just painting in the uh, anti-A there. Again, lots of light coats rather than one really heavy coat. Just leave that to dry for a second. And when you remove the stencils, it's best to lift it up rather than drag it sideways because if you have got some wet paint you could drag it with the stencil. So you just lift it straight up and away. We have the anti-A there. Now that's one way of doing it. You do have, even though it's a freehand stencil, you do have quite a crisp edge on there. Now you might not want that. Uh, you might if it, want it to look like it's been sprayed on with a spray can. So we want a bit more of a softer edge. And the way we do that is we raise the stencil off the, off the page slightly. So you can either do that, the tape on the back is raising it up a little bit, or you could use a little stick of some sort. Um, so I've got this little tube here. So you could rest the stencil on the tube. So I'm holding it on the tube and then raising the stencil off the surface slightly. So let's do that up here. And then you want to mainly paint from top down, which is going to be difficult for me to film actually. Let's see if I can hold it somewhere else. There we go, that's a bit better. If you come in from an angle, you're likely to, uh, to fill in the middle of the A. So you do want to come down at 90 degrees to the page if possible. So we go, you can see the difference here. This one's a lot more fuzzy than that one over there. 
Uh, and again, the same. The reason we have these gaps here is the stencil would just fall apart if we didn't have them. Um, but you can fix those if you want to, or you could just leave it where it's just been sprayed very quickly. Um, if we zoom right in, we can fix them if you want to. So you need a bit of uh, extra trigger control here on your airbrush. I normally like to rest the rest the nozzle on my finger so it can't move away too far. I'm just going to paint that little corner in here. So there you go. Now, when I'm painting that, I'm, I'm pulsing the trigger on and off, on and off, just like that. If you have it on the whole time, it's just going to puddle and run, and uh, it's not going to be any good. So let's just do the other side over here. So there we go, we filled in, let's wait for the focus, we filled in the little gap. Uh, if you do, if it is a little messy, it doesn't matter. It's meant to look like it's been sprayed on very quickly onto the side of the building. And bear in mind here, we're zoomed in a long way. Um, you can see from the size of my finger uh, that it's uh, a lot smaller than it looks on the picture. So if we zoom out again, you can see on the side of a model that's going to look really cool. Really good graffiti paint job there. Anyway. Uh, that's the uh, freebies unlocked so far. Uh, thanks for all your backing and uh, hope you have a good rest of the campaign. Cheers guys, bye.